Riley, one of the highlights of living in the Bay Area for several years now. Yeah, they have been, and they're inspiring many of their fans on their quest for their third straight Stanley Cup championship. Our Rochelle Aline spoke to one fan who credits the team with helping her turn her life around. Laura Henderson wears many hats, but of all her titles. I am definitely a super fan. Bolt's super fan is easily one of her favorites, and it's one she takes pretty seriously. I got Stammer, Palat, Turnak. She has a running list of all the players she's ever fist bumped. This is my lucky puck. And a room full of signed memorabilia. He gave me a stick. Henderson's hockey love affair has also taken her several places, like to the airport. Let's go, Lightning! To see the team off and to the tattoo parlor where she's gotten not one but two player signatures inked on her shoulder sat in the chair and got it. he literally traced over the sharpie and she's saving room for more i want to get this covered just the the stanley cup some may call her crazy and henderson says she's okay with that but to truly understand her passion you have to understand that another title she goes by is survivor. The drugs is what led me to being a target for traffickers, actually. And then I got caught up in that life for many, many years until 2018. Henderson is now three and a half years sober, and she says the lightning has been a big part of her recovery. All the obstacles that have been put in their way, I feel like that's been my life story. And while Henderson says she expects nothing but success ahead for her and the Bolts. But now I'm going to not wear that hat, not going to wear that shirt. Like any true super fan would, she's also ditching the clothes she wore during game one, just in case. In Temple Terrace, Rochelle Aline, ABC Action News.